Seldom is there an occasion that can awaken more anticipation or evoke more excitement than the expectation of a newborn baby, the sweet hope of a new life, the plans, the dreams. Will it be a girl? Will it be a boy? What will they look like? What color will their eyes be? What will their personality be? The treasured moment when the expectant mother realizes that another life is forming inside her womb, her wonder as that realization settles in, the sweetness of sharing her discovery with the father, their combined joy as they share the news with others. The preparation that takes place in a home to make room for another little person. Furniture is moved. A place for sleeping is prepared along with hopes that the new little one will indeed sleep and all manner of modification, both big and small, are made to accommodate the arrival of this tiny little human. And in the weeks and months that preface the arrival, we savor each detail uncovered with computers that capture pictures and small scopes that measure heartbeats. And sometimes even host a lively party to share these particulars with family, with friends, sometimes with the world. And this yearning to know, the desire to share, comes quite instinctively to us as mortals. It's a trait instilled from our Maker, our Heavenly Father, the Almighty God. For when He, the Creator of this universe, prepared to send His only Son to a world that was lost in sin and darkness, He did the same, except his was a savior reveal. He wanted to share the details of what his son would be like. He wanted the world to be prepared. He wanted the world to be expecting him. So he sent messengers. We call them prophets. With messages, we call them prophecies. God wanted us to get to know his son so that we could know him. Most of all, he wanted to pave the way back to sweet fellowship with himself and break the curse that sin had brought to the world. We are waiting for Messiah to come. I hope he comes when I'm alive. What do you think the world might be like if Jesus had not have been born? It would be a disaster. Then everything would go bad. I wonder how he will come. If I could see him. Jesus is coming. I'd like to get to know him. Probably just meeting him and seeing what he was like. Seeing what he looked like. Well, there wasn't enough room in the city, so they had to lay him in the manger. Jesus. I would have liked to see Jesus in the manger. I would like my daddy to be a shepherd. I wish I could have seen the angels. I would like to see the angels. I think I would like to be with the wise men and the shepherds. I would like to have seen the wise men. Giving gifts. I would like to give them a gift. I wonder how the world will change. Because you don't have to die for your son. I think there would be more peace in the world. By seeing his love. Messiah is coming. Messiah is coming. I would cheer him on. Makes me happy. Today, during this Christmas season, as we once more celebrate the birth of the most anticipated baby ever, Jesus the Messiah, we would like to stand in the shoes of those who lived before and share a few of those prophecies, those messages with you. May God draw you close to himself and may you find yourself more enthralled with the Savior as we present our simple program 
that has been prepared especially for you. Savior Revealed.